Hey guys, what's up? Heather here, and today's video is about gaming habits. I think there's a huge gray area when it comes to a lot of gaming habits. Uh, personally, I think a lot of mine fall in the gray area because they're not necessarily where I want my gaming habits to be or how I really uh, envision my time spent when gaming, but it is what it is, so here are mine. I am a sucker for social gaming, which is um, why I tend to spend a lot of time on my Xbox 360 or Xbox One, just because I can hop on, get in a party with friends, and play a casual social game, whether it be a shooter or not. Um, I really enjoy spending my time that way and it ends up turning into, you know, a nightly habit that takes up hours. The reason why I think social gaming falls into the gray area, at least for me that is, is I have a huge backlog of games that I really need to finish and when I tend to get on every night after work and play a social game, it's like I don't really spend a whole lot of time completing the games that personally I'd like to complete. As far as my personal goals go, I would really like to focus more on actually completing some of the stuff off my backlist because I have a hard time going back to stuff that's a little bit older that I haven't completed, you know, uh, during its launch period. And social gaming kind of uh, gets in the way of that. I think there's a really good balance between social gaming and dedicating your time to um, other games in your library or backlog. I would honestly like to change that about myself and my gaming habits. Just kind of be a little more conscious of the time I'm spending um, not getting achievements or trophies. I love being able to play with my friends and kind of like have an online hangout of sorts, but I think I really need to work on my time management skills and find a good balance between social gaming and tackling my huge backlog of games. Speaking of backlog, that is another gaming habit of mine that is terrible. I will be the first person to tell you it's terrible. I accumulate more games than I can play. Being, I guess, in general in the gaming community and being a part of, I guess you would say, like uh, gaming media, you honestly want to purchase all the games that there's hype around. I know for me, I also work at a game store, so you know I get really hyped when a bunch of stuff releases, so I tend to pick things up but I don't always have the time to play them all. So I pick up these games when they're on sale or when they launch and I just kind of accumulate them. I am really terrible about getting stuff on the PlayStation Network when they go on sale and just uh, filling up my PS3 with games that I haven't finished. I think this kind of falls into the gray area as well, although I would consider it a bad habit. I guess it's good to, you know, be able to pick up a variety of games. Like, there's nothing bad about uh, wanting to get a bunch of games and try them out. However, I prefer to complete them. So, for me, my goal would be to maybe purchase less games but finish more. So, it seems that I don't have as much on my plate. In your mind you think oh well I have like four games that I really need to play and one of them I want to write an article about and uh, yeah it kind of gets a little overwhelming so you're like well you know what I just I don't feel like getting into that tonight I'm tired I'll just hop on Halo and I think that's my mindset a lot and I would like to change that because it's uh, it's a little daunting looking at your backlog and thinking, wow, do I have a lot of games to play? I just need to, I just need to get paid to sit here and play games all day. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Another one of my gaming habits would be not completing games. This is a pretty bad habit to have. Uh, it's cool being able to test out a bunch of stuff, 
Like I said, I work at a game store, so I'm constantly getting things to, you know, try out and see how I like it. And if you don't like it, that's cool. You know, you don't have to finish a game. It's not that big of a deal, although it does aggravate me to see all my uncompleted achievements or trophies. But again, it is what it is. For me, there are a lot of games that I really, really enjoy, uh, but just put down because of, you know, time, work, etc. And I think this also goes back to having way too many games to play at once, which can, again, be overwhelming. Um, the games I do tend to complete are games that have a lot of hype around them. I know with uh, Bioshock Infinite, I picked it up at midnight, started playing it that night, and, you know, continued for the next couple of days. I tend to definitely finish the AAA titles just because, you know, everybody's talking about it. You don't want spoilers. So it's like, you've got to finish this ASAP or you're going to see something on Twitter that you didn't want to see. So I tend to finish those, but there are a lot of games that um, I've picked up that are a little bit older that I start and get really into, but then again, a AAA title comes out and I drop it like a bad hat. So that's another gaming habit of mine that I would like to improve because it kind of sucks having a lot of games that you don't finish. Again. One good gaming habit that I think I have is that I tend to stay away from a lot of game previews or um, just in general media about games that I'm really excited about. If there is something that um, I'm really looking forward to, I will obviously see the initial, you know, information about it, but I tend to stay away from any like trailers that have spoilers in it or any indication of the story. Um, any kind of preview that tells you anything about the story. I honestly just don't read them. I don't read them. I don't look at the videos because I feel like video games are supposed to be a very immersive experience. And if you go into a story kind of having an idea of what's gonna happen, it's not as exciting, I feel like. And it doesn't uh, create that magic that I think video games should have when you play them, at least for the first time. There are obviously some exceptions to this because you have friends that are like, you know, you have to play this game. I know you weren't that interested, but you know, listen to this and then it sort of intrigues you and you have to go back and play it. Um, you know, so there's those exceptions. Honestly, I think that's a good gaming habit to have just because our media is like so polluted with spoilers. I mean, you can't even go to Facebook and not see a spoiler of a TV show from, you know, last night. It sucks. So, yeah. So my last really big gaming habit that I will cover is, I guess kind of a good and bad one with video games is I tend to OD on games, like straight up. I get really into certain games and have to have everything about that game or um, spend 10 hours a day playing that game. There's a particular game that comes to mind that I played over the summer that uh, I OD'd on pretty hard. I spent, you know, every waking minute playing this game. My lunch break at work, playing this game. And after, after I had, you know, kind of achieved something in the game, I put it down and honestly didn't want to look or see a game for a couple weeks after that. And I do kind of OD on video games. I tend to then uh, find myself watching a really good new anime series or a Korean drama because I love Korean dramas. Oh my God, they're so good. Uh, but I tend to kind of like push myself into something else and uh, don't turn on any of my consoles for a couple weeks just because I am like so sick of playing games at a certain yes. point. I need to step back every once in a while and pace myself as far as games go. I am currently trying not to OD on World of Warcraft again because yeah, World of Warcraft. Oh, uh, it's like crack. So yeah, those were my gaming habits, guys. Definitely let me know in the comments what your bad gaming habits are or your good gaming habits and uh, how you'd like to change them or what goals you'd like to set for yourself as a gamer. 
Um, I'd love to hear from you guys and, you know, see what all you guys struggle with as gamers, right? First world problem. But yeah, leave a comment and be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.